quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Live. I am so happy you are here. Guess what? It is a super special show. I have beautiful things for you. It's packed with information, with new things, and some surprises. You know me, I love surprises. We are gearing up for the most amazing weekend. We are going to have our retreaters here. They start coming in on Friday and they're going to be retreating with us for uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then our second group of retreaters come in. So we are really, really excited. A lot of our friends are coming in. Maybe some of you are watching. Girls, I cannot wait to see you. And guess what? We have a lot of beautiful prizes for you at the retreat, but I will not spill the beans. I can tell you that. I maybe show some things that we're gonna be doing at the retreat, but a lot of things we keeping secret because we want our retreaters to be really excited and surprised when they come in and join us. Oh, I cannot tell you. Or you love the quilt behind me? Stop, you can watch me because you are distracted by this beautiful quilt and all the hearts. It's one of our new quilts. It's made from my old, old pattern. This pattern calls Love Bird Trio. And remember, I showed you for Valentine's many, many times how to make beautiful, beautiful hearts. And we have pre-cut hearts glory on our website. We have the greens, we have the blues, and you can choose hand applique, machine applique, or fusible applique and also make a quilt like this. I thought this would be a perfect quilt for our retreat. This is the last one that is going on a frame today. I'm hoping to have it quilted uh, this afternoon and tomorrow I'm putting a binding and setting it up for our retreaters to welcome that. But if you are at home and you're missing us, please don't have your heart broken. Just get some of those beautiful pre-cut hearts or grab one of our pattern Love Birch Trio. Get the directions, the templates, everything. The um, design is right here. Speaking of templates, we do have a template. If you want it, you can grab the BFF template. Your best friend forever, I can tell you this, because they are uh, beautiful hearts in a uh, light plastic that you can wrap the edges around. I did a beautiful video on how to make those hearts and there is a half heart shape. You fold your fabric in half, you put your template and you can cut it with a rotary. You don't even have to cut it by hand. So really, really cute. So we have those BFF templates. I'm going to save a set next to me because I'm going to ask you some questions maybe about the quilt behind me or maybe other questions now i want to remind you that we also have a stencil like this in this stencil we have three sizes of hearts so if you want your heart to be a little bit smaller like the one on this pillow right here you can of course do that with our stencil because the design is right there or you can go for the larger size this is the charm pack size and then i have the large large size this is the layer cake and speaking of charm packs and layer cakes don't worry i got some beautiful ones so you can see what fabrics we have available in case you want to do this quilt right away i got you i got you but today's show the topic is bedding backing and background would you love to learn a little bit more about bedding backing and background i love that all three b's so i absolutely love it so for now i'm gonna be putting things to the side but this especially i'm gonna hide it so that way later on when i talk to you guys about this quilt that calls hearts content i can uh you can answer nice questions and you get a lovely price erin don't let me forget about this lovely price for everybody okay and guess what today we have a special guest in our studio she may be gonna come in and do a very quick hello because guess what we're having our retreat and when a retreat happens, 
all my friends come in and one of my friends that flew all the way from Chicago is my dear friend Debbie she's incredible quilter and she always comes to our retreats and she helps me at the retreat she is so cute she's a little shy but you've heard me talk about Debbie didn't you you hear me talk about Debbie she also have a quilt in our book right here our brand new book called uh, rainbow scraps color wheel quilts you heard about that book we had a beautiful show last week Debbie don't be shy come right over you can do it come on I'm gonna make a little room for you just to say hi to the girls and guys just to say hello i have to introduce debbie to you guys because she has been part of my life for a long long time come here this is my dear friend debbie yes hi. so <laughs> debbie made this quilt right here uh, this is the wildflower quilt it's so beautiful and debbie thank you so much for coming to our retreat thank you for having me I'm always so happy to be here always i could not do without you thank it's you. so so special to have you so guess what she gets to watch live show live right in our studio would you ever wanted to do that i don't know maybe next year when we get our new space you get to be a part of our live shows and you can come visit we have a little bit area maybe for you i don't know i don't know this is gonna be super special i'm really looking forward to next year when we are gonna have our own retreat place and you guys can come in learn and do things i think that would be fabulous so rainbow scraps is so amazing and debbie once again thank you for stopping by in our studio to visit with everybody and thank you so much for joining in in this beautiful adventure of creating a rainbow scraps quilts so um if you want a book they're on our website it's brand new if you are a store owner you can get the book through checkers or you can go ahead and just visit our website and create a wholesale account for yourself so that way you can have the books in your store as well and this book is so much fun i mean it so 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 much fun but now let's get back into what we're doing and i'm cleaning up the table of those beautiful little things that i prepare for you and once again i want to introduce to you our hearts content like i said this pattern is based on a design that i released a few years ago and we do have a new pattern with all of the beautiful 248 uh, beautiful hearts I love that so many gorgeous colors and I chose fabrics from different collections from uh, older ones and newer ones and speaking of newer collections we have some gorgeous fabrics and one of the fabric collections that we have is our coco pink and another collection it's coco blue I don't didn't bring the bundles today but I brought two quilts that I thought you would really like to see it so this this is a cocoa uh, a blue uh, cocoa pink collection one of the quilts that I brought to share with you to show you is our Michigan quilt and we do have a pre-cut kit for that one this is the Michigan quilt it is so lovely and in just a moment I'm gonna show you the quilt and guess what this is what we're doing today I'm finishing quilting one quilt but we also working on bindings to finish them up and cocoa uh, uh, Coco Pink, our uh, Michigan uh, kit. I'm uh, doing the binding uh, right now, so that way Debbie is helping me. She's the best girl. She even brought her own thimble so she can help me with binding because she knows the routine just before the show, before the retreat. There's so many gorgeous projects that I wanted to share with everybody, and there's some new projects. So, bindings, binding, bindings. And right there, look at this is the pre-cut kit for our Michigan quilt. Isn't that beautiful? And I love the idea of having all pre-cut pieces. So simple, so easy. We have the pattern on our website and then we have the kit. Just go ahead and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So this is Michigan. I want to show you the quilts in just a moment. I have them right here. Another quilt that I'm going to be showing you is our blue 
blue star isn't that lovely and a blue star is part of our retreat so the girls that are coming in and guys we're gonna have some guys this time i'm super excited about that uh, a lot of very talented quilters a lot of beginners our retreats are perfect for any level quilters you come you can work on the projects that we prepare for you but guess what we have school houses we're gonna teach you different kind of techniques blocks some surprises and this year i have a super surprise for everybody the girls are gonna be blown away i can't tell you i promise do you know what let's do this next friday tune in if you want to see live show from our retreat would you like that we're gonna tape a live show so that way you get to see what we do and that way i can tell you about that little surprise that i have for everybody there sounds good okay it's a date so next friday remember uh 11 o'clock i will be seeing you at our retreat oh this is so cool i i love that i love that so right there this is the blue star again we have a pre-cut kit for everyone you can get those kits on our website if you would like to they will not ship until next week so that way our retreaters are the first one to get those kits we always like to do that and i guess what the pattern is incredible and also is on our website at laundry basket quilt so those are just those few things there are other beautiful patterns from coco pink and coco blue we have gift basket and a lot of those patterns we also have kids so if you want to if you something catches your eye please make sure go to our website at laundry basket quilts I love this one boxwood is my next to do I hope I can fit some time during the retreat to sew so this is the plan that I'm having I'm gonna be making this quilt so this is lovely I've been waiting for our layer cakes and uh, jelly rolls to do that one I'm hoping that they come next week and uh, antelope valley is another lovely quilt with cocoa blue Dallas is stole your heart and mine this is a beautiful beautiful pattern if you want to make a star trip around the island is incredible we have kids if you would like to quilters cabin just beautiful and i had a kit right here in front of me i was showing to you just to show you the fabric so you notice all the fabrics are in this kit quilters cabin so we have the kit for that one now another one is blue moon and this one is stunning and simple 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 perfect for charm packs so those are just a few of uh, projects that we have for our coco blue and coco pink collection also i don't want to forget for our blue star we do have templates and they're wonderful if you buy the pre-cut kit you can use your templates just to mark the points because we have really cute little holes in the corners of our template so you can mark it and then it's easier to match your pieces and this is what i'm hoping that everybody's gonna be doing at the retreat they're gonna be using templates to mark or just enjoying sewing it's really not difficult quilt it's made with 60 degree triangles but there is no y seams of any kind so i'm super super excited for everyone for those i have made you wait long enough so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the quilt so let's start with and forgive me the bindings are not finished yet this is what we're working on it today look at how beautiful debbie is working on this one we started last night we're just oh so excited to be together and do you love to sit with a friend and do bindings and just visit that's what we did last night and we had so 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 much fun so look at this isn't that beautiful oh i love this quilt so this is a michigan coco uh, um uh, uh coco pink yes michigan coco pink it's just beautiful beautiful quilt so uh, if anybody wants it, we do have a pre-cut kits for that one. I should give it back to Debbie so she can keep working on the binding. <laughs> oh, she is so cute. She's smiling. Don't worry. I have her busy 24-7. So just remember, some of you like, oh, I wish I was Adita's friend. If you are my friend, you get to help me <clears throat> all the time. Yes, this is how this works, you know. But 
um, this one I'm working on it I'm working on my binding and I want to show you one of the corners right here I just finished really nice and I'm using remember we talked about that one and three quarter inch binding so I cut a one and three quarter inch can we see this Michael yes. and then what I'm doing is I'm just folding down to that stitch line right here can you see the stitch line and then I just went and roll everything around the edge so I have a beautiful double of fabric on the edge but really nice and soft and not so uh, thick and big I really really like this binding and all that I'm going to do is my needle still here roll this I like to use my clips with it but um, I don't know where they are I must have forgot them at home so right there I have my needle and all that I'm going to do is just make sure I slip through the back and slip through the edge of my beautiful binding just little nice little stitches probably around the quarter inch or less that's that's what i like to do just a nice little stitch not too big if you do it too big it just doesn't hold as good so you have to take your time and you know what this is one of my favorite things to do just sit down and do a binding i usually turn on a nice show and do a binding around the quilt and just enjoy enjoy some of the shows that i know you're watching is our live show and i love that all our uh, regular class shows where i'm teaching you different things and today i don't want to only show you the binding i want to talk to you about three b's in a quilt binding uh oh we talk about binding uh bedding backing and backgrounds so there are more than three, there are four Bs because binding is the fourth one. But let's talk about bedding first. Would you like to do that? So no question there, I brought today, make it super fun and simple for you guys. So one of the things that I really like is this little chart. This is from Hubs Beddings. And when you open this chart, you have every possible information you can have for every bedding and now you can choose and pick what's nice for you so if i would like uh if i would be machine quilting and i love 100 percent natural cotton i would be choosing one of those beddings right here if i wanted to do something really lovely i would move into the tuscany collection beddings and i would be choosing from those beddings every single little chart has this information you can also so find this on hubs uh, website so you can go ahead there and read about which bedding is you know the best but i'm gonna make it super easy for you don't have to choose and pick today if i do i would say um 95 of my quilts would use this uh the unbleached cotton bedding with a um just a, a little bit fluff to it i really like that tuscany collection this would be a one to go if i want something more special i would use the cotton wood wool blend this one is incredible i just love love this bedding and usually look at i have it right here in front of you the twin size 72 by 96 this one works for a lot of the sizes of my quilts so it's the twin the full also queen size i would be staying someplace here because if i get a something bigger like queen i can use up some leftovers for my table runners and other projects so two places that i would tap into it if i'm looking for a bedding i would go ahead visit hubs uh, website look at their information but if you want to go to our website and you can find those beautiful beddings this is the cotton wool blend we have it available anytime you can have that one this one is mine to go and both of the quilts that i just showed you have this bedding so i'm gonna bring back one of the quilts because i want to show you look how nice my quilt is it folds it drapes it's not too thick but it has a little fluff so that way it shows really pretty my quilting design and yes i quilted this all by myself <coughs> 
I used my long arm machine and the beautiful designs that are on it and I did a little sampler of all different designs and just went row by row something new that I just did I have to show you in this one let me see it's probably on this side right here oh no that was the other quilt I just finished Oh, this was Dallas. I add a really cute little design of pebbles onto between. This one has braids and uh, beautiful feathers. And I just alternate those. What I add in this, what was super special, was little scallops she shells on the outside isn't it cute so that way i have that next to the edge top and the bottom edge of the quilt so that's this one now let's talk about our second thing that it's background okay many times when you are making quilt like this where you need 248 beautiful backgrounds because of course you want to have nice variety you looking for beautiful lights so what i would recommend for you guys is bundles i collect them fat quarters are the best fat quarters half yards and today uh, all fat eights for nice variety so one of the bundles that i have right here for you is this one it's on our website and uh this is um uh, cloud nine he calls it cloud nine we have cloud nine sweet nothing and the best ever this bundle called sea breeze look at the beautiful beautiful background pieces i'm gonna take this out of the bag and i promise today that i'm gonna go a little slower because we go so fast and sometimes you miss some of the things and look at those beautiful beautiful backgrounds when i designed those i paid attention that i have some just tone on tone so no color just tone on tone so light beige cream beautiful beautiful cream with the delicate beiges delicate cocoa browns on it now right here i'm start adding a little blue to it so the sea breeze has uh lights with just tone on tone and then the remaining have a little bit blue and they go a little bit darker with the background it's not very noticeable but sometimes maybe that's what you need if you want to shade the backgrounds in your quilts as well and many times when i do a quilt like this i cut up all my background squares I lay it on the ground or my design wall and I check that the colors are shading the really nice way for me. Then I start placing my hearts onto it and start creating a second design with the hearts. So my background is shading from dark to light and the blues have touches of blue. The middle has more yellows and greens in it. The top backgrounds I have a touch of pink in it so this is your lesson about background pay attention to those you don't want to grab a, a pink one and throw it with a, a blue uh, squares you want it to have a nice match but sometimes you can if the blue fabric has a little pink flower maybe in it so a little pink polka dot in your background would be just perfect so this would work excellent for you guys those beautiful backgrounds now by far my favorites we cut this bundle just about every week every two weeks is our scrappy light bundle this bundle is to die for because we're constantly picking from our best selling backgrounds and best selling darks and there are 60 pieces in this bundle i'm gonna talk about the dark one in just a moment let's look at the light one and again i'm gonna pull it out of the bag so we can take a one minute and take a little peek so you see how i pick backgrounds i go through our studio and i look for backgrounds with a darker background and a beautiful big design on it and that's in the beginning of the bundle because i want that variety i want some backgrounds that shade darker a little bit and then i go ahead and start picking the ones that have beautiful pinks and red accent then i go for a little bit of a blues and i constantly pay attention big print medium print small print stripe pop dots then i move on to a stunning yellows right here 
and just a tone on tone and a little bit of a teal so look at those gorgeous gorgeous backgrounds isn't that just beautiful oh guys this is so nice i love this bundle the girls just finished another round of that those kind of bundles and it's just just beautiful now if you would like a the color pieces that i have in the hearts best way to get a nice variety is a grab some hearts that are already pre-cut for you but if you wanted to collect beautiful beautiful charm packs i'm gonna go over charm packs that we have available but also our scrappy dark bundle our scrappy dark bundle have so many gorgeous colors in it and we shade from blacks through blues going into the greens finishing with yellows gorgeous uh, pinks reds it is just a stunning bundle if you want to get a good taste good color of our uh, fabrics that i designed for endover now last time we talked about it and our new book color wheel quilts if you creating a quilt like this and you want to add a little bit extra color you have your beautiful prints but there's area that it's lacking that true green there's nothing better than grab some of our linen texture did you notice this look at it i here or there i have a linen texture hard so then i for sure make a statement this is orange this is pink area this is blue area and then i add all those other beautiful pieces that have multi colors on it but with the hearts and the linen texture truly infuse nice color to the quilt so something to remember i would always think i'm gonna grab a bundle like this grab myself a charm pack and i'm ready set go for a weekend not only at the retreat but maybe at home just enjoying making beautiful beautiful quilts so those are the ones now i promise you guys that i'm gonna show you some of our um beautiful i have to clean this up because i'm trying to make a room for your backings so we're going about the backgrounds i'm gonna show you some charm pack then we go back to what we i promise you we're gonna talk about backings so let's look at this i have some lovely charm packs this is what it's available on our website right now linen texture too and let's peek through them the first fabric don't ever show the whole you know package you must peek through and just look at uh, all the pieces that are sitting in right there and if you would like to do that many times we photograph the charm pack open so you can see or you can basically go to our fat quarters fat eights and see a bigger picture of the pieces that are in the collections so this is the low charm rack from linen texture 2 seamstress a lot of the pieces are in this quilt i would definitely love to have a seamstress for the hearts our cocoa pink just so sweet so delicious look at this it's like chocolate and cherries look at this how lovely it is this one is secret stash neutrals that would be perfect for some of my backgrounds i just grabbed this one because i thought it would be nice to show you that you can also have pre-cut backgrounds and in some of the uh, bundles you would take part of the bundle like seamstress and this is all light colors and you can use them for the background then right here look at this moonstone is so sweet you have the uh, lights but you have grays blacks charcoals they're so easy to use and a beautiful soft pink now don't hesitate grab sprinkle because sprinkle could be that infusion of color that you are looking for for it and this one has a tiny little pocket that's on it just a sprinkle of it and i love this little bundle this one i'm keeping close to me maybe i'm gonna do this one as one of your door prizes today and then i have to get my own from the back of the office so right there I have a little hair stuck to my glasses and it's tickling my face in case you were wondering why I'm fidgeting with my glasses. Um, 
Now I'm gonna put the hearts away once again. We have red, we have pinks, we have blues, and we have greens. And they're already pre-cut for you. They include quarter inch seam allowance because we pre-cut them for a lot of the girls that love hand appliquing. So this is already done for you. All that you have to do, needle turn and applique. And if you wanna see how to applique hearts, don't forget to go see my uh, beautiful video we're gonna put a link on it and send a newsletter about it so that we remind you because you don't have to do hearts just for Valentine's you can be in love with quilting and fabric every day of the week every day of the year I am and I'm enjoying myself to the fullest so hearts are perfect to showcase that now um, if you cannot find your favorite charm pack and you need a little bit more fabric, layer cakes are also great. And layer cakes, it's like having four charm packs. So you can repeat the color four times if you're creating quilt that it's more balanced and you want the color to be on each side of the quilt. So right the, there, Secret Stash Earth is one of the first one that I have for you. And let's browse through the pieces. Notice yellows, beautiful greens. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I love this collection. We did this one a uh, few years ago and it has been just one of my favorites. This is Coco Pink. We already talked about the colors, how sweet they are. The next one is Primrose, but it's one of our new ones. And look at this, that big print is hiding right there in the back. How lovely, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Some lights, some pinks. This would be a great one for a quilt like this or oh, any quilt. Linen texture uh, three. This one is very earthy, nice, dark, beautiful colors, very fall. I love this one. I'm keeping this one to the side. I need to make my maple leaves. This is going to be perfect. I'm going to add some other scraps. Mm, perfect for the retreat. Look at how many plants I have for the retreat already. Are you like me that you just get so excited about quilting and want to do all these fun things? And I guess... Uh, then you have to pull back and see, okay, what can I do? For sure, make sure you finish your little quilts club because your next one is coming in and they are so lovely. So back into the layer cake. This one is Linen Texture 2 collection. This one is a little brighter and happier. I have quite a few pieces in my quilt. If you want something special and excited, Sweet Ride is so cute, so, so cute. And I mix these fabrics with all my other fabrics. They're just so yummy. Sprinkles, we talked about that one. Now, if you want a little bit more greens and reds and you're thinking maybe hearts for Christmas, why not? You could use the Noel layer cake. We have a blue escape layer cake. So look at those beautiful blues lights. Isn't that stunning? Look at the light blues that are in there. Oh, so sweet. I like those a lot. And the last two that I have is Sea Breeze in Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. So Cloud Nine has all those really cute, pretty prints, some with pink, some with blue, just one, some ton on ton. And um, the Sea Breeze have ton on ton plus a lot of gorgeous ones with a beautiful blue on it. All right, we went through all this beautiful, beautiful layer cakes. I'm gonna keep one on my table because I need some gorgeous door prizes today to make sure that you guys enjoy our show. Before I go into our backings and show you some backings and talk about how I choose my backings, I wanna bring your attention. If you're working on a small project, like uh, uh, I am working on a big one, so guess what? I took that small pillow and turned the design into the large quilt and now you probably are excited about making some pillows too uh, 
you can go ahead and uh, grab of our, one of our brand new kits. This one calls Pumpkin Pillow. It's one of my patterns that I do it over and over every year in different colors. It's so simple, so easy, and we have a beautiful kit. And what we did this year, we include the pre-cut leaves, so that way you don't even have to cut the leaves for your pumpkin. Can I see the back of that again? Yes. So beautiful. Look at this. Okay. Isn't that nice? And we're going to have a great show for fall beginning of next month. Right now, I just want to show you the backings and get you excited about finishing some project. And then we're going to move on to nice fall project with maple leaves, with pumpkins. And we already have a lot of nice kits for those. Oh, now, when I'm picking my backing, I'm paying attention to what i would like the quilt to look when the edge flips over gently um, i'm thinking about it how i'm going to quilt my quilt do i want to show off the quilting on a back if i do want to show off the quilting i would use something very simple very uh, light and I would use something that would not have much design on it so that way the threads show the design from quilting um, most of the times I'm more uh, very like a uh, settle with my quilting on the top of the quilt and on the back of the quilt I want uh, to walk up to my quilt and see the quilting once I start looking for it. I don't want the quilting to be the center of attention on many of my quilts and as well on the back. So I like this to be my like little hidden treasure, you know, little something that you come and like, oh, and look at that quilting. I like to look at the color and then have the quilting just surprise me. So on the front and on the back, I'm gonna use a nice fabric with beautiful prints. I s stay to the lighter tones and I pick some pieces. If the quilt is in a, uh, like a traditional uh, tones, it's uh, practical magic, maybe you're making a quilt from primrose, I want something that it's neutral, that it's very, uh, earth tone uh, inspire. So I would choose something like this with beautiful big polka dots. I'm gonna flip the fabrics this way so I can read the numbers for you guys and start showing you those beautiful pieces. So for example, this one is 8831-N1 and this is just a perfect fabric if you want just beautiful big polka dots, very settled in color but bold in print but not bold enough to cover the quilting but hide enough that i can have a surprise another one that i love is this one is 189-n this is from lady tulip i like the small designs they're like a more medium size they're not petite and it really looks nice on the back of the quilt and i love that little a happy green in it another one and this one will hide your quilting very well because the branches are so busy this one is um, 604 dash lb this one is from green town and there's another one that i love is 293 dash t and again very busy it has the oranges has the blue it has enough design but it doesn't overpower the quilt so this is my neutral backings if i'm making blue and white quilt i would have been choosing something that it's gorgeous in blue and i would have been choosing something that it has a medium tone to it i don't like dark backings to my quilts i don't know why i just love the medium or love the lights and i'm just sharing with you what i like and in this case, I would love something that would showcase a great design. And those bar uh, right here of designs would be great on the back of the quilt. This is 9447-B, super beautiful. I love the gold with it. So it's a, and a little bit of coral. And as you notice, coral, one of my favorites. Is a little accent so this would be very very nice on the back of a quilt this one is another one with bars and a little cocoa brown in it warms things up and this one is uh, 9578-B 
my personal favorite right now this is terrible i'm putting this on just about every border every backing i'm gonna hide a bolt for me because i think i'm addicted to this fabric right now it's just perfect for blue and white quilts so any quilts notice that i can take this and put it on the back of this quilt oh put this as a border onto this quilt and it gives like a statement it really holds things together for me really really cool so this one is 725-lb i love this fabric i hope end of a reprints moa now this one is 728-lb again a nice design for the bag it gives a really cool feel to it i love the darker blues because it gives me a little bit of a movement and if i have darker colors in the front of my quilts it will pick those nice very nice and this is very soft for my for more of the teal blues and i love that yellow yucky kind of green in the middle with the brown this is another gorgeous one so those are just a few of those now let's move into something that it's very crisp and incredible for uh, blue and light quilts those are two from our brand new collection coco blue this one another one i'm crazy about 726 lb this is perfect for a front for a back for anywhere borders it's light lovely with a hidden nice design of blue into it and this one i showed you this in green great for backings because it hides any imperfection if you're quilting yourself and you're you know just starting this helps you camouflage some of the imperfections in quilting and helps you allows you to keep going and keep growing and finish things up for you very nice so this one is 604 lb and did i do 726 lb this one was the one before i don't remember if i told you guys this number and if i forget any numbers just email us we're gonna leave those on the table for a few minutes so that way we can go back to it and check on those you know which one was your favorite and uh look at this now we're going into pinks and reds so if your quilts are have a red in it on the top and you would like to bring that little bit of a warm and a pink into the back of the quilt i have some really fabulous choices for you i'm gonna move those okay closer to me i like again lighter tones nice medium with a big print let's just go over them and i will tell you one by one i love that this has branches going in many different directions so that way when i put this on the back of my quilt and it's a square quilt i can rotate and i never have to worry where the backing is you know which direction it goes and this is 727 le and this is from our coco pink another one from coco pink now you know i'm crazy about the blue i'm crazy about the brown with pink for my pink quilts and this is 725 le this is that gorgeous big print look at how stunning it is it's just beautiful it's great for borders but it's also beautiful for a backing of the quilt i can guarantee you that you can put this on the back of the quilt flip the quilt onto the back sometimes and you would enjoy it just as much as maybe the front with this gorgeous flowers beautiful design and just quiet soft and lovely with beautiful pink pillows and white sheets this is gonna be a stunner so right there another one 9449 and this is el this one has lovely little red flowers and a blue in it if i have a four of july quilt i'm thinking about red and blue together and those little flowers look like little fireworks for me so i chose this one to show you Number. guys thank you michael this one is 9449-el <clears throat> beautiful another one and i showed you this in blue so we have it in blue we have it in red 9578-r <clears throat> just beautiful and another one and this is the big gorgeous flowers i'm gonna have to grab my drink it's right here you know me guys <clears throat> i got a little tickle in my throat 
Oh, so much better. Again, remember my recipe, you're gonna put a little bit of lemon, you're gonna put a little honey, nice warm water. Guess what? Debbie, do you drink your drink? It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Debbie already finished her drink. You know, when Debbie comes visit me, she stays with me. So I force on her and introduce her to all my little habits like daily honey water with a lemon. Uh -huh. And yes, she must do what I'm doing because she is my dear friend and she understands. Uh -huh. Now, this one is this beautiful, beautiful fabric from Super Bloom, and this one is 9445-E. I love this one, and guess what? This is the one I chose for this quilt this time. I want something pink, I want something feminine and just beautiful so this one is going on my frame i already have my bedding uh, backing piece ready set go <clears throat> this one is nine nine five eight <coughs> i have something stuck okay let's see <clears throat> if this help <coughs> nine nine five eight dash all and this one has a beautiful orange little, um, orange little uh, berries with branches and leaves. <clears throat> oh man, oh man. I cannot lose my voice before we even start a retreat. Oh, thank you, Erin. This is truly a live show. Erin <clears throat> is going to help me with a little something. Mmm. Look at those fabrics. This one has, look at this. I just struggled for a few minutes. And this girl show me in this, see me in distress. And she immediately come to my rescue. Who, I, I'm so blessed. I'm not gonna cry today, but I am so blessed. You guys have no idea. Surround yourself with people like this your life would be a magic debbie flying from chicago who does this you know to help me at my retreat i'm choking erin give me candy <laughs> i'm forgetting something michael make sure that i have my pants on and my shirt on <laughs> so life is good life is good i'm so so thankful for my people that surround me and for you guys that tune in every show i could be doing a live show and no one is watching and guess what that's not what it's happening hundreds and thousands of you come in every friday and watch our show and please make sure you remember to share with your friends because we have so much fun at our live shows and don't forget i'm gonna ask you some questions in just a moment Maybe one of those fabric numbers is going to be a tickle on your elbow. So um, next fabric, I think from my happy children's quilts, I love those, a 442-L, another one, 439-L, and this one is 196-V. All of those three are beautiful backings for happy fun quilts i actually think that oh this one could work it picks up really nice some of those happy colors i already chose this incredible pink 944 a uh, 6-e that one is super super special all right finished backings do we have any questions today and we're gonna start our live show uh, our um question and i don't want to forget uh, some of you have asked again um, uh, modern American uh, vintage those are the tools that we're using right now we just got them we have them on our website we have this beautiful seam ripper we have beautiful stilettos a little pressing tools some of you ask if I would show them one more time they are just so so pretty I'm gonna leave them here so Michael get it a little close-up maybe again for them 
And don't forget, we have a beautiful pressing tool from Laundry Basket Quilts. We're getting more of those and we restocking. I just got an email that we are gonna have more of those. So those are just those beautiful tools from last week that you guys were asking if I would show them again. Now, do we have any questions, Erin? Yes, we do. And our first question, um, our, first question our first question was about a quilt that you are currently working on binding on. Yes. Your um, blue star quilt. Somebody was wondering what backing you chose for that one. Oh, I love to show you this, guys. Actually, I cannot because it's oh, stuck yeah. on the all these goodies. But guess what? I'm going to pull because I want to show you. Remember, I was telling you. I love for my blue quilts, I love that soft blue and that's exactly what I chose for this quilt right here. I chose the nice soft blue. This is one of the Coco blueprints that is available on our website. We have this in two different tones. We have it in this light soft blue and we have it in a taupe. And I was going back and forth because the taupe pick very nice this and notice how my binding it's a little bit darker it picks both sides it kind of melts things together for me but i wanted something soft and i was not sure how i'm gonna quilt so i went for something more busy to hide a lot my quilting and now i love it because from a right angles i get to see the quilting and it does exactly what i wanted that it's like that hidden treasure uh, that I um, like to use my quilting as so that's this one kits are available on our website There are limited amount of them because we just did them for our retreaters So if you guys want a kit, I do not want you to call me one month from now and said I miss the kit Can you do something? I cannot cut one kit at a time. We only got what we got so if you want a scrappy star or blue star go to our website and get those and um, if we have few extra, we, we, we will restock. But for now, what we have is what is out there. Let me ask you a question and then you can ask me another one. All right, I know all of you know this. How many blocks, how many hearts I have in this quilt? How many blocks is in it? I told you, I told you how many hearts I have it and somebody's gonna get a beautiful uh, price. I was smiling because Erin is smiling because she wants to answer that question. She loves this uh, design and I think this is going to be one of her first things that she's going to start working on it. Oh well I love it because so many people were, were paying, paying attention, attention today. I love that. They're, They're catching, catching on to these little things yes, that they think might things. be questions. Oh I'm just loving this community we are creating. <laughs> you guys are just amazing. So um, we have a winner. Awesome. I'm going to pick random today. Yes. And um, our winner is Gail Deckert. And the answer is 248. That's correct. Congratulations, Gail. We are going to be sending to you a beautiful stencil, but a loved bird. And in a pattern loved bird, you have the uh, heart design. We do have a pattern for this quilt as well, if anybody is wondering. That one calls Hearts Compend. It's on our website. And we also will be sending to you a little uh, template called BFF and hoping that you find friends and you find some love in sewing and quilting with those cute little tools. So any other questions that we have today? Yes, we have a couple about backing fabrics. Okay. One of them comes from Ginger Johnson and she's wondering, do you have a favorite green um, for backing? So remember those first the, uh, pieces that I showed you in more like green tones, the taupes and greens. This, The one for green, my favorite right now is this one because it has a green, but it's light enough and that way I the um, you know, when I'm quilting it with a green charm collections fabric, this really uh, complements nice for me. So this is the one that I like to use it for green ones. Perfect. And another question was, do and you have a before I uh, let you mm -hmm. go, did you notice what I said? Green time collection. We have incredible collection of green fabric. So if you need a special green. When I designed it, I shaded just about every shade of green for you guys. So you can find something really nice matching to your quilt. I love that. Um, and the second part of her question was, 
And do you also have a couple of favorites that you like for wedding quilts? Oh, uh, for wedding quilts, I have to tell you, this would be just spectacular because something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, and you have those little, little hidden berries, and this is just has that old vintage flavor to it. This would be a lovely for a wedding quilt. Oh, well, thank you for sharing. Um, and I can't say I've seen it in person. It is gorgeous. Yes, uh, it's such a uh, just incredible fabric. Yes, um, the Killams are wondering: Would you ever do a collection with Andover that includes a 108 inch? Live. I would love that. I'm hoping that we can work that into one of the next collections that I'm working on. I would love that because I love just cutting from a bolt, throwing on a frame and quilt and don't have to piece it and wear it, you know, sometimes there uh, one panel turns and one side goes one way, the other, you know, the easier, the faster I can get things done, I can finish. And you know, by the end, we put so much time to piecing the quilt up. So when it comes to bedding and backing and binding, many times we're like, oh, I'm so tired, let's just be done. And those are really nice areas where you can bring and elevate your quilt to another level. So please remember, don't skip your nice backing. Add that nice, beautiful binding finish with gorgeous quilting just try 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 so anything i can help by our uh, designing 108 inch wide bed uh, backings i'm going to do this i already designed a bedding for you guys hubs carries this bedding my name is on it i didn't design the bedding but this is my favorite favorite so i chose the bedding for you choose that same bedding your quilt's going to be beautiful 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 thank you we just have two quick questions about um batting as well yeah um we we're just anita was wondering do you ever double your batting on quilts not often if i do i will double cotton and uh wool because the wool is so fluffy and it gives me a really nice i'm looking here if my little chart is uh, but it's buried under in my little card uh, the wool gives me a fluff so that way it's very nice for applique i would only do that on my wall hanging quilts i don't like my quilts that i use at home or use in the studio when i hang i like the quilts to drape beautifully so i don't like them to be too thick so but for the wall hanging if i want to up a little bit uh the uh, bedding to make a little bit more three-dimensional for the quilting definitely I would do that I would do a cotton plus wool thank you um, and our last question about batting is um, is there much shrinkage with the cotton cotton blends so what it's wonderful about this chart that I was showing you also gives you a little bit of idea like how much shrinkage you will get once you do that and for me I don't pre-wash my fabrics. I test my fabrics for bleeding. So I love to use, uh, I love the bedding to shrink a little bit. When I wash this quilt and it shrinks just tiny, the fabric plus the bedding, it my quilt look vintage. It looks so nice. It like pulls it together a little bit. But the chart will give you exactly so you can plan on it, you know, how much it's gonna shrink. But there's always a shrinkage in fabrics and the bedding when you put it together. Perfect, thank you so much. That You're was welcome. all for those, uh, those Super, so we questions. have two more door prizes that we're gonna be asking questions. So um, uh, I want a question number uh, two is, what is the name of a friend that came and visit me this weekend to quilt with me and help me at our retreat? Anybody remember what is her name? is her name nancy barbara what do you guys think come on let's see we are paying attention and then i have a second question that it's really exciting oh i love it we're already getting answers and they are all correct actually uh, let me go ahead and pick a random winner for this and are they winning that sprinkles charm pack yes oh, i love yes. it all right trisha moore is our winner and her name is Debbie. Yes, our Debbie. Debbie, can I ask you to grab your little um, 
a uh, little mm -hmm. thing that you made last night, okay? And Erin, may I ask you to get uh, two pieces of those cute little pre-printed quilts right there mm -hmm. on the box. I'm gonna show you something cute that Debbie made last night. We're gonna come, you have to show it off. Come on, come on, you can do this. Okay. All right. I'm gonna show you something that we're gonna be doing next month. It's not happening right now. I want you just to be the first one and Debbie has been working on it. Uh, last night I have been working on bindings and she has been just incredible. This is something brand new that we just printed. It's a little panel. It's a tiny little panel and it has little hexagons right on it. So what I'm hoping that you would guys do is you're going to put a backing uh, bedding, little leftover, and quilt this to create something special. Come on, show it okay. off. Put it over here, yeah. sweetheart. Okay. Look at this, what Debbie made. Because now you have all these incredible tools and you're looking for little places to hide your little tools. And you can do that if you make yourself a little um, tool holder. Look at this. Isn't that sweet? All that you have to do is tie it back together. And did you see how sweet she did a little pocket? You can add a little needle to it. I have my little ruler right there. And then she put a binding around it, gently hemmed it. And then um, now t uh, you can tie it and take it with you to your retreat so this is something new that we have coming up later on next month we're going to be showing you how to make a little project with our pre-printed little panels i showed you last week some stuff you've seen the little basket you are now seeing this a lot of fun goodies coming out and especially before the holidays so that way you can go ahead and get ready and make some nice things for your friends debbie thank you so thank you. so much for making this this is so so beautiful she has one more to do you know because she made one for herself now she has to make one for you know who okay I think that was for you oh i love that oh, did you see this thank you debbie you know, she gave me hers she gave me the first one made of this course. is so sweet i love it i can't wait to show up and i can't wait we share this with all our viewers isn't that exciting yeah, it is. so you. we're gonna have those little panels Sarah, and <laughs> oh, Michael okay, Mike wants one. one. <laughs> okay, Debbie, you are in trouble. Okay. Four more. Yeah, four more. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Love that. We're going to have a little kits that are going to include everything you need to make one of those pouches. I just want to show you. We just uh, got those printed. So uh, they're super, super cute. Don't worry, we got you guys. You don't have to wait long, but it's not now. It's gonna be next month. You're gonna be able to play and do fun things like this with us, yes? All right, last question. I had a layer cake here, didn't I? Oh, it's right there. I almost lost my layer cake. So last question uh, for the day. Um, I showed you guys two quilts. Can you tell me the name of the two quilts that I showed you that I'm working on binding on those quilts with Debbie? What do you think? Would you remember the two quilts? I only showed you two. Um, so please tell me the name and somebody's going to win a beautiful sea, bri sea breeze layer cake. Look at how special those pieces are. Oh, so, so nice. And what we Question. I love that. Mary Jane Rossetti was wondering, do you run the stripes vertically or horizontally when you choose a large stripe like that for backing? For backing, it's um, uh, sometimes vertical, sometimes horizontal. I love the bar quilts, uh, vintage old like bar quilts. Uh, you probably want to see one. Stay tuned. Stay right here. Don't go. I'm going to disappear for one sec. Perfect, and we've got lots of answers coming yeah. in, but I'm waiting for the right Look at one. This. this is a perfect example of an antique quilt that it's a bar quilt. So they're um, beautiful, beautiful bars of design with triangles on each side. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so when I would 
um, have a, uh, I love quilts like this. So if I wanted to mimic something like that with the backing, I would be doing my bars uh, horizontal, a vertical. Uh, vertical, vertical. So, but sometimes I like to put them horizontal and it depends how much of the fabric I have. So I go and look at it, oh, I only have four yards and I need, you know, uh, um, so much of the uh, backing. Can I make the design the way I want? And no, okay, then I roll with the punches and make a lemonade out of my lemon. If the fabric is too short, I just use what I have and let the fabric speak and I use that piece and it's going horizontal. So depends on um, what I have, but I prefer if it would stand vertical because I love those bar quilts. Perfect. We have a winner. Yes. Who is uh, our winner? Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> Debbie in VT. I and, love that. Um, the answer was Michigan Cocoa Pink and Blue Star. I love that. Oh, I'm so glad you knew the answer. So you're gonna receive a sea breeze layer cake from us. Thank you so, so much. I'm so proud of you guys. So stay tuned. Next Friday, I'm gonna visit with you from our retreat. I am so super excited. And now you know some cute things coming next month and we're gonna do another quilt alone. Get, uh, get ready for it. Remember, I promised you quilt alone with our Tahoe quilt. So I'm working on that. It's gonna be later on in October, but we are going to do it. So stay tuned and I wish you a wonderful weekend and a happy quilting. I hope you have fun this weekend.